the very first SmackDown game for PlayStation 1. This game right here, guys. See this? That's SmackDown 1. I haven't played this game in probably 20 years, 21 years, whenever it came out. I didn't really play this game very much at all. But I'm going to play it after 20 years, and I'm going to tell you guys what I think. So, um, The Rock's game, you look on the cover, you got China, The Rock, and Mankind, and the WWF logo. So, let's play the very first SmackDown game. Now, playing the game, we got Expedition Mode, Create a Pay-Per-View, Season Mode, Create a Superstar, The Belt Record, Ranking, etc. Belt Record is actually kind of cool. I mean, other games have it now too, but you know, whatever. The match types, you got Single Match, I Quit Match, Special Referee, Survival Match, Cage Match, Anywhere Fall, Hardcore, King of the Ring, Royal Rumble, Battle Royal, Handicap Tag, and Single Match. So, pretty good match types here. Then you got the roster, you know, all the ads there, stars. Yeah, this is actually one of those good times in wrestling, in my opinion. I was actually enjoying myself when I was a kid, you know. I would love the attitude there when I thought wrestling was real and it, was, it wasn't scripted. <laughs> yeah, I really do miss these days in wrestling. So, the nostalgia of this game is pretty unreal. You're seeing these roster of people, which is actually a very small roster. <laughs> you have to unlock things probably in season mode. It's kind of cool they get to play as Vince McMahon right away. That's a funny picture of him too. And I won't lie to you guys, I was never really the biggest fan of, you know, the PlayStation SmackDown games, really. Playing it as The Rock. I didn't have some finishers. I haven't played this game in so many years. So, you know. I'm not used to the controls anymore, but I think I figured them out already. Somewhat. Huh. So you see, in this game you can't use your analog to move, you use the other controls. That takes some getting used to. Here we go, going for the people's elbow. That's just being the end of the match already. Because usually you do one finisher in the match, and then the match is basically over. As you knock them out. Or not. I do another people's elbow to him. He takes his elbow off. It actually takes the elbow pad off in the game. That's a pretty cool, you know, thing for the game at the time. It's a weak finisher. He kicks out of it. But oh well. It is what it is. Here's the cage match for you. Remember when the cage were bars? You guys might remember that. Yeah. And yeah, I know this isn't the best gameplay in the world. You guys probably aren't that impressed by it. But back when I was a kid, this game had so many, many memories. I played this for No Mercy. I remember I got this game for Christmas, actually, in like... I think it was the year 2000 or what, something like that. And you know, it's, if you look back 20 years from now, you play these newer wrestling games, the nostalgia would hit you back, kind of like with WWE 12. <laughs> nostalgia came right back to you guys, so there you go. This game also has like a ranking system, Stone Cold has 104 points, Rock 76, Triple H 69, Big Show 64, Mankind, Undertaker, Chris Jericho. I wonder mean, who's at the very bottom. Paul Bears at the very bottom with zero points with Devon Dudley's number nine. I think that's kind of funny. Somewhat. In a way. Then you got your belt record, Triple H, Chris Jericho's Intercontinental Champion, New Age Outlaws are the tag champions, Val Venus European, Big Boss Fan Hardcore, Tory, not Tory Wilson, the other Tory from DX is the women's. And that's actually kind of a cool thing right there. All these belts have so much nostalgia to them, so that's a kind of cool thing about this. But yeah, just so, so many memories with this one little game right here. So many memories, and you maybe do or do or don't understand it, but you know. It's kind of 
fun actually going back after 21 years and replaying this game and saying, wow, I kind of miss being a kid sometimes. It sucks growing up, you know? <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, this game isn't very good, but you know, it is what it is. And I guess that's all I want to say about it for now. Yeah, but this game here, it's not very good, but it does have its nostalgia factor. I mean, some of you guys might think it's good. I think the game is kind of kind of sloppy as far as gameplay wise. But after 21 years of this game right here, I will say that, you know, it does bring back a lot of memories of my past. And I'm happy I got to replay it after 21 years. So, or maybe it's been 22 years, 20 years, I don't know. But yeah, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this review of the very first SmackDown game. Maybe you should go back and get a PS2 or a PS1, however you want to do it. Go replay it and enjoy the memories. But game-wise, it ain't that great. So, thank you for watching my review of the very first SmackDown game after 21 years replaying it. And I guess I, I actually genuinely enjoyed myself. But yeah, just give me your thoughts on this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Subscribe if you want to. And peace out, everybody.